Hey all and welcome to episode 37 of Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. <clears throat> I didn't do too, too much um, in between episodes here. Um, the biggest thing of note is I tried out this vertical digger. Which digs a 5x5 five five hole all the way down to bedrock. Pretty quickly. Um, dug from here down to bedrock, so... Gosh, let's find out. Sixty some blocks down. Um, in maybe fifteen minutes. Uh, so pretty quick, and got a decent amount of just raw materials. Um, that can be upgraded. We look at the actually additions manual. Be upgraded by placing three or less phantom boosters. I don't know what those are. Booster. That actually doesn't look too hard. Be placed on top of the phantom faces. Yeah. I'm not sure how much it would boost it by, but we may consider that in the future. Um, the other thing I did was a couple more Batania things. <clears throat> um, I wanted to kind of see what these incense sticks were about. So I went ahead and made these. Um, not too hard of recipes. Um, they are short on being able to make more white magic dust. We're low on mana powder. Um, but that's okay. Basically, you take the incense stick you make, brew it on the botanical, bre excuse me, botanical brewer, and uh, then you burn it. And it acts like a temporary buff, like like a beacon. So that's cool. Um, I decided to start recording um, here because I'm going to put together a Rod of the Skies. It looks like it's another way to um, get some flight going. It's not creative flight, but if we add, um, it throws us up in the air. And if we add a glider, then it'd do some work for us. Free living wood. I also made more runes. A couple of each. Because I figured we'd need them. Two living rock. Six of these to make six sticks. Three sticks, rather. A couple feathers and an ancient dust. Two. And... In this, ah, and powder, illumination powder, uh, 
I have just enough white magic essence to craft this. Rot up the skies. So it uses mana from our mana tablet, um, which I have another of right here. Um, I'm also wearing the Band of Aura, which passively puts a very, very tiny trickle of mana in here. Most of this came from throwing it into my mana pools. It's very slow getting mana from the ring, which I suppose it's fair because it's just kind of free. Um, Rod of the Molten Core. Smelts target blocks. All right. This. Oh, interesting. I don't know if we really care about those, though. Uh, so we're not going to bother for now. I'm going to continue, though. Mark Prudentium. Do I have any of that sitting around? We are going to continue down Batania some. I want to see where it's going to be taking us. I think this is actually the farthest I've gone in Batania, getting like brewing and stuff up and going. And the brewing system is really cool. The incenses are cool too. I would have liked the quest to be something other than There goes our last air. Uh, I would have liked them to be something other than just speed, right? But that's fine. So I need Light gray, gray, copper, oak, and credentium. Gray, gray, hopper. Oh, and the pebble pop there. Makes sense, it's a flower. I need a seed. Excellent. Up drock. Uh, this auto picks up items around it. That's cool. Doesn't even need to be supplied with mana. Let's collect these things here. Uh, Rosa Arcana. Oh. All right. Stone. All right, I see what it's setting me up for. Uh, 
hop back and sleep real quick. A couple more seconds. Make the Rosa Arcanum. Rosa Arcana? Whatever it's called. Pass this stuff away. Rosa. Entrum. Got one more of that. Stone. Chisel this to what room? Void stone. This void stone? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Shove that back in there. Put the Rod of Skies in here too, just in case I want to use it ever. Got lots of extra jumps though. I don't imagine a world where uh, I'll use it. is back in here because it's a flower. Three. Two purple petals, which I don't have, and I don't all right. A pink block and two purple petals. And then I need the... Oh, I did have... A seed. Oh. And that actually gives an ancient dust. That would be nice with a mob farm. So we'll keep that in mind. Six thousand five hundred mana per TNT. These are really good for mana. I don't think I'm going to bother with it for now, though. Oh, that's convenient. And not hard to make. We need nine living rock, uh, two aquamarine, eight mana steel. Toss that in there for now. Not for this, thank goodness. But soon. I'll save the mana steel there. Because I have plenty in here. Uh, mana steel. Marine. Running low on. I was going to grow those. Let's 
just need to make another tier 5 crafting seed. I may do that in between next episodes. Um, what am I making? Now, splitter. Seared bricks. Why would I? However, I have seared stone. So, so just put in a bunch of cobblestone. Just burn some cobblestone. All right, we'll be right back while I'm getting those things together. The aquamarines go there. Mana splitter. Cool. Oh. And I get a third mana pool for free. Excellent. <gasps> Ooh, this is one of the things I need for Terra Steel. Excellent. Exciting. If I break these mana pools, do they? They do not. Sucks. <clears throat> now we know. All right. This consumes lava. Five minute cooldown after consuming a block of lava. That is 18,000 mana. I think that's a lot. Um, lava stone, that's easy. You know, that's pretty easy. We've got rune of fire. Um, Thermolily, right? Stone and the Imperium Coal. We also have. Just have moved my coal. That's fine. This means it's right in here. It's that in there. It's that in there. Alright. Um does we need lava stone? Perfect. Is that everything? One, two, three, four. How's that lava stone in there? <clears throat> cool, cool, cool. anything there.
a seed. Seed. It's one. Alright. Ah. Cool. Thermal lily. Neat. And lava cells. And another thermal lily. Cool. Oh, cool. Um, lava cell, all those, those guys are on five minute cooldowns. Sweet. Let's take a look at this. Terrestrial agglomeration plate is a block and a small multi-block structure added by Britannia. It only uses crafting terra steel. Single mana steel ingot, mana diamond, and mana pearl are dropped in the center of the structure. The process will begin and the plate block will start accepting mana. Five hundred thousand mana. I need more living rock. Thousand mana. Diamond. Lapis. Just make this into a block. Of course, I can't. Forty five. Um. Gaia agglomeration. Um, I'll need to make a couple more runes. The Void Stone. A rune of air and a rune of mana. I think I have enough of the others. So we needed three mana steel blocks. All right. Stack of iron, a uh, mana steel. Uh, we need a pearl. Stone. That's right. Stone was the other thing we were getting. While I am here, toss those away and get together what we need for these runes. Lithium, and a powder, snow. Just gonna get together enough to make two of these. Chances are I'll need another rune of air at some point. Better. Uh, 
All right. And a seal. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. So we'll need another diamond. Pearl. Starlight, which we can grab. Inferium. We'll actually make two of these as well. So that's as much Inferium as we have. Two Liquid Starlight. I think I have the rest down there. Uh, what am I looking for? Ah. Gotta go up. That's Liquid Starlight. Okay. So that's doing that thing. Oh. And a steel. Two, three, four. Now we have a couple mana pearls, so that's fine. Diamond, string, and starlight. So, you. I'll be right back while we're waiting for all this stuff to uh, do the thing. Alrighty. We got Air, Earth, Fire, Water, Mana. Together our Mana Steel and uh, Lapis Blocks. Good. Now I'll grab the water. Oh boy, I hope we have a water. Did I not see it, or...? Oh, okay. Cool. We're good. <clears throat> Oop. Sweet. That gives us another mana pool. Fantastic. And this one. <laughs> uh, all right. So steel, mana pearl, and mana diamond are treated as thrown items and it would despawn after five minutes. So it's important to make sure you have enough mana to finish the ritual. Ah. All right. It's a multi block structure. Let's see here. Is 
is getting a little close to wrapping up point, but um, Rapids and Living Rock I have down there. I want to get this set up at least. Five living rock, yeah. I think using these? Are they dying? Is that is that real? Sounds real. It's fine. I don't know how much a mana pool can hold. I'm just gonna put it here. It's not gonna be able to reach. Be able to reach. Lapis. Could go in the cardinal spaces. Like so. Bust that. this dirt and then we've got our five living rock so like that and that could be made right I think so We have one spark. Cool. I'll want to make, what, a few more? Or something? Um, real quickly, as we wrap up here. Let's recheck our Lexica. Sorry of the basics, no. This. Mana. There we go. Mana pool. Does this tell us how much a mana pool holds? Doesn't tell me how much hold. Um. It looks like it holds a million, based on a very quick Google search, um, which is cool. All right, so we are going to call that an episode, and next time I will have four Terra Steel.
I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know how things are going. Um, we do still... We are still on the hunt for a drop of evil. Right? Which is actually what let us down all of the magical mod progression because of the essence of the gods that we need. Just kind of generally all this other stuff, right? Diamond promise acceptors, we're not there yet. I think that's the next step in evil craft that we have to make. Bride. Accessible. Except for maybe this Prometheum ingot. No, we we can mine. This is just in uh We have some of that. And proxy ingot, we made some of this as well. It's just smelted using some of the Yeah. Um so basically all that's holding us back is kind of these diamond promise acceptors and essence of the gods. Mystic dust, which is white magic and dark magic dust, which duality is super duper in our grasp. Solium. enough. So, you know, we could actually do this thing. Um, except for the Diamond Promise Acceptor. So a bit more evil craft would get us the drop of evil, and then we can use, um, we can make a really good mob farm for, like, this Rosa Arcana and the Hopperdrock, right? But, for now, for now, for now. Uh, that's it for us. Hope you enjoyed. Feel free to hit that like and subscribe button. Um, and I'll catch you next time. Thanks for staring at the sun.